Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lepakshi Khurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 15th of August. India celebrates 76th Independence Day with patriotic fervor and gaiety. Stronger security, deepening poverty and lack of education, Afghans assess Taliban's one-year rule. A Nepal president returns controversial citizenship bill to parliament for further discussion. And now for all the details, India celebrated its 76th Independence Day on Monday, August 15th, the day which marked the end of British rule after two centuries with fervent zeal and patriotism. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unfurled the tricolour and addressed the nation from the ramparts of the Red Fort. He called upon the collective spirit of 1.3 billion Indians to take the country forward and ensure that it is a developed nation in the next 25 years. India celebrated her 75 years of independence on Monday with patriotic fervor and gaiety. On 15 August 1947, India was declared independent from British colonialism. Prime Minister Narendra Modi led the celebrations from the historic Red Fort in capital New Delhi on the occasion of India's 75th birthday. He hoisted the national flag at the Red Fort and addressed the nation for the ninth consecutive time. PM Modi spoke on the plethora of issues laying out a roadmap for India's development, calling for an end to misogyny and weeding out corruption and nepotism. India will aim to become a developed nation within 25 years, PM Modi said in a National Day address on Monday, with policies to support domestic production in power, defence and digital technology. Modi exhorted youth to aim big and give their best years for the cause of the country. और जो 20 22 25 साल के नौजवान मेरे देश के मेरे सामने हैं मेरे देश के नौजवानों जब देश आजादी के 100 साल मनाएगा तब आप 50 55 के हुए होंगे मतलब आपके जीवन का ये स्वर्णिम काल आपकी उम्र के ये 25 30 साल भारत के सपनों को पूरा करने का काल है Later, jubilant celebrations were witnessed at the Atari Vaga border in India's Amritsar city on the occasion of Independence Day. A large crowd joined the celebrations. Musical band performed by paramilitary border security force troops at the border. The beating retreat ceremony was started in 1959. It is an iconic tradition in which the national flags of both India and Pakistan are lowered at the border just before dusk. And as the Taliban marked a year in power on Monday, Afghans continue to struggle with rising poverty, drought, malnutrition and fading hope among women that they will have a decisive role in Afghan's future. The Taliban marked the first anniversary of their return to power in Afghanistan with a national holiday on Monday. One year on, Afghans continue to struggle with rising poverty, drought, malnutrition and fading hope among women that they will have a decisive role in Afghanistan's future. Roughly 25 million Afghans are now living in poverty. Well over half the population and the United Nations estimates that up to 900,000 jobs could be lost this year as the economy stalls. تغییرات بزرگی آمد مثلا در بخش اقتصادی که مردم افغانستان فعلا زیر فقرن و خیلی تغییرات اقتصادی اومدن هم توی خانواده هایی که ستا لیول سرمایهشون بالاتر بود هم کسایی که زیر فقر بودن اونا که زندگیشون خیلی بدتر شدن و تعلیم و تربیه هم همین The country is safer than it was when the hardline Islamist movement was fighting against US-led foreign forces and their Afghan allies although a local offshoot of Islamic State has carried out several attacks Yet that relative security cannot mask the scale of the challenge the Taliban face in setting Afghanistan on a path of economic growth and stability there are huge pressures on the economy, caused in large part by the country's isolation, as foreign governments refuse to recognize its rulers. 
Development aid, upon which the country relied so heavily, has been cut off as the international community demands that the Taliban respect the rights of Afghans, particularly girls and women, whose access to work and education has been curtailed. بزرگ در زندگی دختر آمده است که مکتبه باز نیست و ما یک سال که یعنی تیر شد ما درس نخوانیم و جبران از بسیار سخت می باشه ولی باز هم خواهش داریم که ما بتونیم به درس های خود ادامه بتیم و سال آینده ما بتونیم به مکتب بریم و درس های خود ادامه بتیم ولی تقرار دیگه هم هست که اقتصاد مردم افغانستان خراب شده The last time the Taliban ruled Afghanistan in the late 1990s, women could not work, girls were banned from school and strict Islamic law was brutally enforced including through public executions. Well, as Pakistan celebrated its 75th Independence Day on Sunday, anti-Pakistan protests were held by Baloch and Sindhis in Germany and London to mark August 14th as Black Day, where political and rights activists highlighted human rights violations by the Pakistan Army in Balochistan and Sindh region. As Pakistan celebrated its 75th Independence Day on Sunday, activists of Free Balochistan Movement and Jason Freedom Movement protested in Germany's Frankfurt city to mark August 14 as Black Day. The protesters shouted anti-Pakistan slogans by calling it a terrorist state and blamed the Pakistan army, which operates with impunity in Balochistan, has been committing genocide of innocent people, highlighting several cases of extrajudicial killings and forced disappearance in the region. Region. They also raised the issue of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC, a multi-million dollar project that gives easy access to China in the region, which the Baloch claims was forcefully occupied by Pakistan in 1948. <laughs> नहीं चाहिए एक दहशत का रियासत है जिसने पूरे खत्ते और पूरी दुनिया को आतंकवादियों की आग में धकेला हुआ है तो मेरी ये चंद गुजारिश है मैं दुनिया को फिर भी अपील करता हूं कि सिंधी और बलोच कौम आजादी चाहते हैं Members of Free Balochistan Movement in London also staged a demonstration to mark August 14 as Black Day. They highlighted that Sindh province in Pakistan have been hit by human rights violation, where Pakistani security agencies have been involved in extrajudicial killings and kidnappings of political activists. At a rally to mark Pakistan's Independence Day celebrations, former Prime Minister and Pakistan Tehrike Insaf PTI Chief Imran Khan dismissed the impression that he was anti-United States. He earlier claimed that the U.S. was behind his downfall when he was forced to step down in April. Former Pakistan Prime Minister and Pakistan Tehreek and Saaf PTI Chief Imran Khan on Saturday held a rally to mark the country's Independence Day celebrations where he dismissed the impression that he was anti-US. Khan was Prime Minister from 2018 until April this year when he was forced to step down after losing a confidence vote. He has since been rallying his supporters to press demands for a new election which current Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has rejected. अमेरिका में सबसे ताकतवर पाकिस्तानी कम्युनिटी है जो पाकिस्तानी अमेरिकन कम्युनिटी है यह ताकतवर कम्युनिटी है हम क्यों एक मुल्क के एंटी हों जिधर सबसे पैसे वाले हुनरमंद प्रोफेशनल्स पाकिस्तानी बैठे हुए हैं और दूसरी चीज कि अमेरिका को पाकिस्तान सबसे ज्यादा अपनी चीजें एक्सपोर्ट करती है हमारी सबसे ज्यादा एक्सपोर्ट्स अमेरिका को है तो मैं बिल्कुल एंटी अमेरिकन नहीं हूं मैं अमेरिका से दोस्ती चाहता हूं लेकिन पाकिस्तानियों मैं गुलामी नहीं चाहता Khan earlier accused the United States of backing moves to oust him because he had visited Moscow for talks with President Vladimir Putin just after Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine on February 24. Washington rejected the charge. 
Khan once again commended India for its independent foreign policy as he slammed the West for being critical of India for buying Russian oil. Imran Khan played a video clip of India's foreign minister S. Jay Shankar from Bratislava Forum held in Slovakia and praised him for standing firm to the U.S. pressure over buying cheap oil from Russia. The PTI chairman slammed the Shahbaz Sharif government for bowing down to U.S. pressure on buying Russian oil. And in the backdrop of a Pakistan Navy ship, PNS Taimur, which arrived in Sri Lanka to conduct a passage exercise, the Sri Lankan Navy clarified that certain media reports circulating about a war game between Sri Lankan Navy and Pakistan Navy are fallacious. PNS Taimur is conducting a passage exercise with Sri Lanka Navy ship Sindarula in the seas of Colombo as she departs the island on August 15th upon completion of her visit. Sri Lanka Navy, with the concurrence of foreign navies, conducts passage exercises as a routine engagement when their visiting naval ships depart the island after making official port calls. Sri Lanka Navy said that the prime motive of these efforts is to enhance interoperability partnerships and goodwill as well as exchange best practices with foreign navies. Sri Lanka Navy has conducted similar passage exercises with the navies of countries such as India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Japan, Germany, UK, Russia and Australia on a number of previous occasions, it added. And Nepal's president, Vidya Devi Pandari, has sent back that citizenship amendment bill that was endorsed by both the Houses of Parliament for reconsideration. The president had held a consultation with various stakeholders, including legal professionals, as the bill endorsed through Parliament courted controversy. Nepali President Bidya Devi Bhandari on Sunday evening sent back a controversial citizenship bill to the country's parliament for further discussions and amendments required in the existing provisions. The latest move of the president comes less than a month since the bill, which remained pending for three years, was endorsed by parliament. The president warned some serious discussion on the bill. In the past few days, President Pandari had discussed citizenship bill with various stakeholders including Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deoba, leaders of various political parties and civil societies. Similarly, President Pandari also discussed the issue of naturalized citizenship. She also deliberated whether or not federal laws are needed for citizenship as mentioned in the constitution. Nepal is born before September 20, 2015, the day the constitution of Nepal was promulgated, were granted naturalized citizenship. Their children failed to acquire citizenship in the absence of a law, as the constitution said the provision to grant them citizenship would be guided by a federal law. Meanwhile, the second time the bill reaches the president, there is no option but to certify it. But the constitution does not envisage the option of what to do if the president does not certify the bill. There is also an understanding that when the bill is sent back, the government will take its position and the president will have no choice but to certify the bill that was repassed without amendment. Well, India's Border Security Force marked the country's 75th year of independence by presenting sweets to their Pakistani and Bangladeshi counterparts on Monday. The country won its independence from the British in 1947, but was divided into two separate nations after a bloody partition, India and Pakistan. India's paramilitary border security force, or BSF, exchanged sweets with Pakistan Rangers on the occasion of the country's 75th year of independence at Atari Vaga border, the road check post between the two arc rivals in the northern Punjab state. BSF commandant Jaspeer Singh handed over boxes of sweets to Pakistan Rangers. The tradition of exchange of sweets between Indian and Pakistani soldiers during days of national importance has played an important role in reducing tensions between the neighbours. Seema Suraksha Bal has Pakistan Rangers ko bhi greetings and sweets and has been able to reach the peace and peace of our country to the whole world. Sweets and greetings were also exchanged at Indo-Bangladesh border between the paramilitary forces of the two countries in eastern India. 
India and Bangladesh share a civilizational heritage and a host of factors that span virtually the entire spectrum of interaction that is possible for neighbors to have. Border guarding forces of both countries have established robust systems through which cooperation in border guarding and border management is being ensured. इससे हमारा आपसी जो तालमेल है वो अच्छा बना रहता है वो भी हमारे को जब उनके मौके आते हैं राष्ट्रीय स्तर के मिठाई हमारे साथ सजा करते हैं खुशी बांटते हैं इंडिया वन इट्स इंडिपेंडेंस फ्रॉम द ब्रिटिश रूल इन 1947 बट वाज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू सेपरेट नेशंस हिंदू मेजॉरिटी इंडिया एंड मुस्लिम मेजॉरिटी पाकिस्तान आफ्टर अ ब्लडी पार्टीशन Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsiaNewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com/SAsiaNewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.